God invented the church. He invented the Bible. He invented preaching. For the preaching of the cross is foolishness to the world. Amen. It's foolishness. But it does. It's the power of God. Amen. Amen. You want power? Keep listening and preaching. Amen. Keep coming to church. Amen. Amen. You'll get direction. Amen. Amen. You'll know where to go. Amen. 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 Uh, praise God for that. Chapter 14, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. And they turned and camped before this town, and by the sea, over against this town, before ye shall encamp by the sea. For Pharaoh will say to the children of Israel, They are entangled in the land of the wilderness that shut them in. He thanks Pharaoh, is saying, They have no idea what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, God knows what he's doing. Amen. It, this world may seem like it's all screwed up. Amen? Mm -hmm. but, but trust me, God knows what's going on. Amen? Amen. Amen? Well, there's killings and there's murders and there's wars and there's rapists and there's child molesters and all kinds of stuff. I understand all that, but trust me, God knows what he's doing. Amen. He knows exactly what he's doing. Amen. 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 And I will harden... Pharaoh's heart, verse 4. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to follow you. Amen. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh mm -hmm. and upon all his hosts. And the Egyptians may know that I am what? The Lord. He says, I got one more thing to prove to the Egyptians. I'm the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, the firstborn's already dead. You done destroyed all of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And this dummy of a king, amen? Mm -hmm. Reminds me of some of uh, our current presidents. You know, they take out their American Express card and they charge everything. Now we own $10 trillion, and the bills do. Right. Amen? And it wasn't the guy that just got elected, amen? It was the last... Democrat and the last Republican and the last Democrat and the last Republican. Amen. The guys in this junk. Amen. Amen. So if they do anything, they may go to the emergency plan, which is we're not going to pay. Mm. Mm. That's going to drop our credit rating way down. Mm. Or we could be like Brazil. The Brazilian government, what they did was they said we're going to pay all our debts. But first, we're going to have inflation, and so a million dollars will buy you a loaf of bread, and so we're going to pay you all the billions of dollars in inflated dollars. <laughs> Which is great for the government, but the people can't buy any bread. Why? Money's worthless. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> So Pharaoh has this great idea. I'm going to follow after the Israelites. It was told the king and the people fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and the servants returned against the people and said, Why have we done this and we've let Israel go? I don't know. How about nine plagues and all the firstborn dead? Mm -hmm. Anybody remember that? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Nah. They don't remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did we let all the slaves go? So they get rid of the chariots, the people. 600 chosen chariots. And there's captains over every one of them. And the Lord's hardened his heart of Egypt, the king of Egypt. He pursues. And the children are on the high island. But the Egyptians pursue them with all the horses and chariots. Army. They overtook them. And camped by the sea. So you got the sea on the back side, you got Egypt on that side, and what did the people do? And they said unto Moses, that's the people, because there were no graves in Egypt, as thou taken us away to die in the wilderness. Oh, I love their faith. Don't you love their faith? Now remember now, you gotta remember their situation, okay? They're slaves. Why were they slaves? They had no faith to begin with. Amen? That's why God made them slaves. The only one that had faith was Joseph. So after 
30 years, he sends a man back to go over there and help deliver them. And they say, well, 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 why'd you bring us out here so we can all die? Mm. What happened to the faith, baby? Mm. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Don't you remember the silver and the gold and all the stuff he got in the wagons? Mm. Don't you remember all that? Don't you think God, he killed all the firstborn? Don't you think he can take care of this little old problem? Mm. No. Why did you bring us here to die? No faith. No faith. No faith. No faith. Why Christians fail? No faith. Amen. That's right. And they always tell them the same thing. Boy, you don't understand my situation. Yeah, nobody's ever been in your situation. I can tell that for the last two thousand years. There's nobody in your situation. Not like yours. I mean, yours, yours is I mean, very, very, very unique. Nobody else has ever gone through anything like you have gone. Uh, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Go ahead. Is it not this the word that we did not tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone? Now they're talking to Moses. Didn't we tell you? Get away from us. We don't want to hear a preacher. I got my church one time. I was so frustrated. I just told him, I said, listen, I'm sick and tired of going over basics. I said, we're, we're, I'm tired of being in elementary. Amen. There is more to learn. Right. I said, now if you don't want to learn, fine. Get you somebody to keep you in elementary. All right? But well, we're we moving on. Amen. Right. If, if you don't want me as a pastor, fine. Just tell me and I will leave. And there was a sheriff, a deputy sheriff by the name of Maurice, or Maurice, and he come out there and says, that man's put everything he's got in this church. His time, his money, and everything else. If one of you suckers make any problems for him, I'll personally take care of you. <laughs> I like a man like that. Yeah, amen. 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 These people all complain about their preacher. They all complain. So what does Moses say? Fear not. Stop your little shaking. All right. Stop acting like a little sissy girl. Amen. Little sissy boy. Amen. Be a man. <laughs> Stand still. In other words, don't do anything. It's not your turn to do anything. It's your turn to do nothing. Just stand still and stop being scared, you little wimp. And see the salvation of the Lord. You see, you get to get, you're gonna see a, you're gonna see a miracle, baby. Amen. Just hang in there. Amen. 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 Verse 14, the Lord is gonna fight for you. Amen. You shall hold your peace. You don't even have to get involved. You're not going to have to pick up your sword. You're not going to have to pick up your shield. You're not going to have to throw a, a spear. You're not going to shoot your bows. You're not going to do anything. All you're going to do is just stand there and watch. Watch what? What God does. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad about that? Amen. 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 Why don't you just sit Amen. still for a while and see what God can do. Amen. Right. And the Lord said unto Moses, Why Christ unto me? Now God's complaining. Moses, how come you ain't got no faith preaching? Mm. Why are you coming on me? Mm. Amen. He said, Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. But lift up thy right and stretch out thy hand in the sea and divide it. You know what God said? Why are you crying to me? You just told people to stop being scared and to be still and watch God, and now you're crying to me just like they are to you. Why don't you be a man and trust me, Mr. Preacher? Now, get over there, pick up your rod, get in the Red Sea, and let's divide this sucker, and let's go home. Amen. Amen. Guess what he did? He lifted up his rod, and the water split the Red Sea. 
There's a word in the Bible later on that will be used. It's called gelatin. The water became like gelatin. You know what gelatin is? Mm -hmm. It's jello. Jello. You poke on the water. Watch it wiggle. Look, I see all the fishes. Watch it wiggle. Mm -hmm. It becomes jello. Amen. He split the whole thing up, and it's jello on this side and jello on this side. They just walk right across. Amen. So that pillar of cloud got between Egypt mm -hmm. so that Egypt would slow down and not follow immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these so that the ones came not near the other all night. All night long. Israel's not. I mean, the, the Egyptians, they moved. Moses has made the, the land divide. It's dry land. The children are walking down the middle. Finally, darkness is gone. And in verse 23, what do the Egyptians do? Now here you are standing, right? Here you are standing in front of Galveston, and the water has been split, and it's jello on this side and jello on this side, and the people that you hate, that if, you know, that you blame for killing your firstborn, are way over there. You can see them, mm -hmm. and you've seen all the plagues. They're insane to continue crossing over. 